for an audience that's still a little bit of work mm -hmm. and, and the other thing is like if, if you record what you do in a day so there's this guy who's really famous for just making like ice cream He mm -hmm. works at uh, Cold Stone and all he does is like shoots the cake he's making and he has like millions of followers hmm. and, and like he's just doing his orders of the day. So it's people are curious on what people are doing every day and like weird careers. So you just follow them around like scientists take you in a day in the lab. A lawyer hmm. would be like, I'm a New York City lawyer. This is my day. Because hmm. I know there's this guy I follow on YouTube. He has a TikTok and he's like an older, he's like, He's only like 39, 40, and he has a TikTok, and everybody is just like, why are you on there? You're, <laughs> you're like a grown person or like a family and stuff, and he's on there, but he's making stuff. He has a good YouTube channel, too. It's called, his name's Adam Ragusea. It's a, he has a pretty cool YouTube channel. Wait, is he, is he the, he's not the Adam Ruins Everything guy, right? No, that's a different, different no. one. Okay. Yeah. That guy went to my college. Oh, cool. <laughs> What do you think about him, like, of his stuff now? I have not been, actually, I have not been following him recently. He came on TikTok for a minute, and I, oh, I did oh. enjoy him. I used him. Yeah, it was for cool the, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right now, he just feels mean. Mm -hmm. Or just doesn't know what he's talking about. There's a, yeah. uh, there's a Joe Rogan episode with him, and I'm like, oh... Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't really make sense. It just it was it was I think it was probably the least popular like episode from the Joe Rogan. Yeah, you know, it was interesting to like fact check like popular beliefs and stuff. Yeah, but at yeah. one point, like you run out of them and you just sound like a douche. Like mm -hmm. you're just correcting everybody for everything, and then like your fact checking gets like a bit little bit flawed once people start like giving you extreme credibility, and then you don't work harder to make sure that you're still staying relevant and true mm -hmm. so he kind of just like it was cool for a little bit and then yeah. now it kind of just faded out um okay yeah if you could direct a music video which song would you choose um also which band would you want to work with and why so you have full directing power what kind of music would you want to do would you do something weird like a like a mgmt music video um or just something regular like a flex video like a post malone video let's I think uh, well what would think you do if, if i could redirect harry styles golden music video i'd be very happy um who is that this guy is um i i have no no <laughs> knowledge on pop culture and stuff so harry harry styles from one direction he has his own you should so listen to. I think he's like a, he's own. a person. He's just a person. Yeah, he's. Okay. I think he has a band. Don't know who is in his band, but you should listen to Harry Styles. He switched from One Direction to just him, and he's real fun. Okay. Also, the Russian IC Three P. I hope that's how you say her. All her songs are so fun. I would love to direct like a music video for her, and it's like I love political commentary songs. And her songs, so she's Russian, and her mm -hmm. songs are a lot about like the Russian government and like recent Russian politics. So I would love mm. to. So be it's kind of like propaganda like, music ish. I, like, but yeah, like the reverse of no, like punk and like exposing. Yeah, yeah. What's happening? Like the opposite of propaganda music, then. So it's like propaganda, but for the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. In like a punk rock, um, like mm -hmm. format. How do yeah. you how do you spell her name? I C three P E A K. E three P. Like I. Oh oh, I like. Yeah, the letter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, I found I them on the Spotify. C. I'll uh, give it a look. Yeah, it's interesting so artwork. Fun. Very interesting artwork. Kind of scary, but very scary. I love creepy music. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. really emo, creepy, like, which would, who was my favorite song for a while? Do you know It's Just Me by Escape the Fate? Oh, Escape the Fate. I've Escape heard of the them. Fate, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The song It's Just Me by them. I used to be obsessed with that song. And the lyrics mm -hmm. of the song are so weird. Yeah, no, it's not, it's a very weird, like, a middle schoolish type of, like, mm -hmm. vibe uh, mm -hmm. for music. The emo type yeah. sound. 
Yeah. But yeah. Um, so have you been, this is another question. Um, have you been like going back to your old high school favorites or yes. like resurging back to those? Like so I, music? so I am, I float between like extremely, um, like current pop music that I keep hearing Mm -hmm. because you know I like songs that I've memorized and if I keep hearing them they get memorized and then like I would like to listen to them so that the one I was listening to recently was like Daisy I don't know who Mm, Daisy is but that was a that was a fun song yeah I I have I need to get my (laughs) my current music I think Daisy by Ashniko. Also, the thing is, like, my music, like, I just saw it's like four months ago. The song released four months ago. It's still new. It's still new. But Daisy by Ashniko, that's a fun song. Um, But then I'm also like listening to uh, London Burning and like The Clash and all those things, which I used to listen to in middle school. Mm -hmm. My comfort music. And then I never graduated from Queen. Hmm, Why is that, though? Is it just like. Did you listen to a lot of Queen? I don't know. I, I just, I'm really obsessed with Queen. You know, like I've oh. never been to a concert in my entire life. And the only concert I've been to is a Queen tribute concert in Bombay. Oh, wow. I mean, that's still technically a concert. So yeah. you still did the one concert. Yeah, but that's the only concert I've been to. Dang. Oh, so you just have this. You don't know why, but you just like Queen's music. <laughs> I just, it's the texture. Like, they have some, like, I have a very short attention span. That's why, like, I need, um, music can't hold my attention for a lot. Like, I can't sit and just listen to music unless it's, like, weird or, like, there's a story or there's, like, something happening in it. Hmm. So, story music, like, w- w- do you have an example of that? Because I, there's a lot of pretty good, like, Mm-hmm. Like, you know how albums are just start to finish? They just have, like, a whole yeah. story that they're telling. I think those are super fun albums. Yeah, yeah. Those are, I, I would listen. Like, I like, like, when I'm listening to those, I like, like, pulling up all of the explanations and listening while doing it. So mm-hmm. one, like, very simple one is, like, I had no problem, like, listening to Hamilton in its entirety before mm-hmm. I watched it, like, with the background going on. But so it's just me by Escape the Fate is about this man and he's like on the street and he's just like yelling about himself and like you can get a visual in what's happening and like who he is and what's happening around him. Or like in Bohemian Rhapsody, like, you know, the visuals of like, he just shot the man and like everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, then so there's this other, visual. Like, yeah. yeah. And then there's a song like Mama, um, what look what they've done to my song. And like this person's like telling their mom like, oh, look at what this industry is done mm-hmm. to my music and you can like follow a theme going on so i like songs like that does that yeah. make sense yeah no I, I get you it's like uh they're just it's basically storytelling that sounds mm-hmm. that sounds good too mm-hmm. um what examples do i have uh oh the strokes i love the strokes they have I think a I've lot of to... you gotta listen to the strokes they're, they're no. a super good band um but they, they have that's pretty good storytelling and it was pretty similar to uh, what you said about the industry changing their music. So, mm-hmm. like, their first album, that was, like, they were, like, oh, you're going to be huge. You're Everybody loved it. And then the second album, they were, like, hey, they want us to sound different, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we don't want to change. This is our sound. Yada, yada, yada. Storytelling. Um, another good album for storytelling i feel like rap was logic's incredible true story that's a a very interesting story from start to finish um yeah basically they're trying to go to this planet called paradise and yeah it's like very have you ever seen cowboy bebop and yeah 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 so it's like kind of like that they're traveling through space um and just stuff happens yeah and then they they just rap about like what's going on and the future and what they what they expect so yeah it's cool it's cool how they like bridge anime and um, mm-hmm. and music and storytelling at the same time there was this black butler i think that was the anime i used to be obsessed with the soundtrack which out which uh, uh black butler 
Black, black Butler? Yeah. What is that about? Uh, it's about this butler for this really rich kid. And like, I think the butler is like an assassin. He's doing stuff. He has a dark past. I used to watch it in high school. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty like dark from. Yeah. It's like dark music, political music, dark like anime, things that are supposed to be peppy always like draw my attention. Hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, so yeah, like a lot of people during this time are kind of sad, right? Mm-hmm. But um, do you what what uh what pick me up song would you would you give somebody like Lizzo? Lizzo anything by Lizzo and there's this um again this is a TikTok thing which people are doing which is like really fun um so there's the song called I am uh-huh. have you heard of this it's it's like nope. I am healthy I am wealthy <laughs> and like it's I am by um uh, young baby Tate and it's everyone's using it as like something to manifest what they feel and it's really positive and it's a very fun song I oh, am. Yeah. The only I am I know is Will I Am from Black Eyed Peas. No, no, no. The, so... the song is called I Am by um, uh, Young Baby Tate. And like people are oh. literally doing like 21 manifestation, one, 21 day manifestation challenges of like just listening to the song. And, so like, they listen to the song like, for 21 <laughs> yeah. days? Yeah, to manifest. Uh... And just see like their personal growth and. Yeah, because like the lyrics go like I am healthy. I'm you know like when you like you know that's how you manifest like the the structure for like manifestation is usually like I am this, I am that. Mm-hmm. So like so okay. the song is the same so structure. You just, so like yeah. see where you're at at the current moment and then see how you're improving. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So hmm. that's a fun. Yeah, it's, it's very it's a interesting. I'm not sure how... <laughs> <laughs> if I would do that, that would be kind of that would be kind of weird for me. But I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm doing it. But it's just like some it helps people. They yeah, enjoy it, it. I get it. So it it just helps the people. That's mm-hmm. that's what it's there for. But like anything Lizzo to like Lizzo, like you go on her, if you follow her on Instagram, you listen to her music. It's just like mm-hmm. all like overall that lady is like just you feel better. Yeah, it's like very uplifting and mm-hmm. yeah. And there's the song called Kolo Kolo Darvaze, like Kolo Kolo, K H O L O K H O L O. If you read it with like tra- the translation, it's a Bollywood song. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to that in Timor, and I would feel so inspired. It's about like how like op- doors are opening for you from like the world. You're just like a traveler coming in there's water by the river it's like it's the imagery of that song is beautiful and the message is so nice you Mm. feel like at peace that's cool i actually kind of like that uh that message we're just like uh i mean we're here for a finite time so might Mm -hmm. as well enjoy it yeah Yeah. they're like yeah why are you worried about you're like just a guest of the world you're living in yeah so like they're gonna take care of you and then we have different paths to choose the different doors Mm. that's cool um any repeat songs I like mean, that you just keep going through or we kind of already went over that but yeah like i don't know like old britney spears is coming back for me right now hmm. like, you... <laughs> <laughs> um then what else so miley cyrus has this like album like she used to do these like backyard um what is it, hippie, backyard hippie, or something like these sessions that she did. And then mm-hmm. that, some of the songs that she curated were so good that I'm like, I find myself listening to those songs again. So one of them was like Lilac Wine. I it's love a Flower, right? Uh, the lilac. Mm-hmm. So Lilac Wine by Jeff Buckley. It's such a peaceful song. Okay. And then Hosier. I enjoy Hosier again. I, I've never heard a, a lot of these people that you've been saying, so I have a lot of homework, which is cool. <laughs> this is like, which is, that's, like, this is what everybody knows. It's just like, I'm all mainstream, man. There's a lot of music out there. I don't have enough time to listen to all of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, like uh, places of inspiration uh, for music. Do you have any? Uh, 